Hey guys, Mike Cricket 113. Hope you're having a good weekend. Sunday today. Nice and sunny out there. Anyway, uh, quick video here. How to find the RF in your house the cheap way. So we got here a little uh, running snail <laughs> radio. You might have seen these. These are great. My wife picked me up this thing. It's got, let me get the sun here. It's got a little solar panel to keep it charged. It's got a little LED flashlight, pretty cool. And uh, AM, FM radio, also has a uh, weather band on there. So I had to pick up RF. So you tune it to an AM station where there's no, where there's no uh, signal coming in. So I got it about, I don't know, 600 kilohertz thereabouts. So you walk around your house, inside or outside, whatever you prefer. I'm uh, outside for right now. And you look for, you wave it near anything that may generate RF. So let's go over here. Oh God, what's that? See the difference? That's the electric meter. There's Verizon, might be picking up that. There's the gas meter, but that might be just that. Oh, there's a difference. There's a difference. So I guess that's my internet coming in. Talk about static, huh? There's got to be something I could do to uh, negate that. That I really can't do shit about. But that's Verizon. So yeah, you just walk around the house. And you kind of see where your RF is. I was doing this inside a little while ago. Saw one of my little TVs was putting off a nice static to it. Kind of like that Verizon box back there. But yeah, all you need is a little clock radio or uh, AM radio, battery powered. This one's crank powered as well. Pretty cool, neat thing. Uh, you could charge it through a USB, a micro USB, uh, into a regular USB. So you can charge it off your... Uh, your wall wart uh, phone charger or your computer. Uh, you could also do it backwards and charge your cell phone. There's a little lithium ion battery in there. Uh, so like I said, the pretty neat uh, running snail crank radio has the dynamo right there. You can crank that up. But anyway, so I'm going to be walking around the inside of the house and seeing what else is putting some RF. And that would be probably your TV sets if they're plugged in, your Wi-Fi router, your... Uh, cable coming in if you got some kind of form of cable out there uh what else computer computer uh, towers uh refrigerators uh air conditioning window air conditioning units are notorious for putting rf up so cheap way to find rf in your house is using a little am transistor radio and uh just walking around and seeing what's putting something off so to negate some of that you could use uh, donut-sized toroids, two-inch toroids, and wrap some cable around there. You could use the clip-on toroids. Uh, you know, whatever you got to do to get the RF down in your shack. So I hope you enjoy the good day and have fun walking around your house or your front yard uh, with a little AM radio and seeing uh, what the neighbors think. But you'll find that RF, and when you do, you'll see what's uh, generating the noise. Another way of doing it too is also shutting the power off in the house and turning breakers on slowly or unplugging everything if you don't want to do that and then plugging everything back in and testing it that way on your radio and or this, this type of radio. Anyway, this is Mike Creek at 113. I hope that was informative and it's easy to do and uh, yeah, it's a good way to find RF. So 7-3, have a good one. Keep playing radio. I'm going to go uh, hunting here for RF. Take care.